Hey guys, hi, this is Ray from Duh of Irvin here once again to talk about toys, comics, mangas, movies, and shows that we love under the geeky sun. So, why is this stop sign or sign out here again after keeping it for quite a while? Well, we're just here to review the figure that came with. What? There's a figure that came with this accessory? Yes, there is. And that's none other than the digital artist from Roblox. What? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay, let's fix the setup here. What? Irvin? What name you Roblox? You know, the, the kids game? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, as you can see here, uh, for the past few reviews, I've actually set up Eve there once again. Hi, Eve. Missy girl. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Eve is there for a purpose. Aside from the fact that I'm not using Spider-Man. Oh, wait. Just give me a second. Speaking of Spider-Man, we could just put him there. <laughs> yeah, boy. It's not a the of urban review if there's no spider-man <laughs> okay so that's neither here or there once again we are here to talk about the digital artist so anyway let's just uh show this first this is an extra that she came with so the roblox uh have two set of toys as far as i know okay the three and three quarters and the two inch or a three inch line. I bleh, I didn't, I wouldn't get the three inch line for reasons. You know, I'm a four inch collector. Transitioning to, to a 112, six inch, but I'm mainly a four inch toy collector. So, three inch. Mm, mm. This guy? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so I, I got that. Uh, you know, just to showcase Ant-Man's shrinking powers. That's from a, the Civil War toy line, the 2-inch, two 2.5-inch two toy line. That didn't go anywhere. But once again, we're here to talk about the digital artist. She looks good, actually, to be honest with you. When I was uh, strolling in the mall looking for new toys, um, I saw this alongside uh, um, alongside the uh, Fortnite figures, and I was like, "Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Roblox is actually capitalizing uh, with their fame as well. They're they're releasing." Uh, toys as well. Maybe they're trying to compete with Fortnite and uh, Minecraft, but that's not my problem. That's not my thing. If there's a toy figure or a, an action figure version of something, I might get it. Well, to be honest with you, uh, I even got Star Wars here and some some um, Sentinel One True Heroes action figure from Chapme. I may review those. Uh, I also have Elite Forces. What else? I have Kamen Rider, both 6 inch and uh, 4 inch. A Kamen Rider. And then another Power, Ra Power Ranger. And yeah, as I mentioned, I, I collect anything or everything that is 4 inch. My dream is to actually build my own house and spare a room one room so my bedroom maybe with my wife my kids's bedroom guest room some crs some recreational room garage living room kitchen and a room just for the toys what should i do what will i do i'll make a diorama a city for every and any four inch toys that i'll get ain't that badass yes it is yes sir urban it is so anyway <laughs> enough of my rambling we're not here to talk about that it's still a far-fetched dream so 
let's take Grace off her hoverboard. What the fluff? Who is Grace? Okay, I named her Eve. It's just fair that I gave her a name as well. Right? To be honest, the, this these figure, the Roblox figures, aside from their default names, they don't have any specific names. So, yeah. And it just like um, Fortnite. Technique is a code name for the skin. So, everybody could be, everybody could be Technique. But, you know, we have to give them names. That's what's funny about me. I give my toys names. So, <laughs> anyway, that's not here, or neither here or there. So, let's talk about first the hoverboard. It is made with a thick plastic. Uh, you can't bend it, to be honest with you. You can't bend it. There's a foot peg that will connect here. You can actually make her stand there. Just like what you've seen earlier. Whoa! Whoa! And, and then it's designed with this abstract sticker. Should I remove it? Nah, I don't care. And then on the bottom, there, these are, uh, you know, are supposed to be the exhaust or the um, thrusters for it to actually float because it's a hoverboard and then it came with this hover effect you can just uh, clip it in there in between the exhausts and voila you have a hoverboard Okay, so now let's talk about this other accessory. So, you can remove this. It's actually made out of a softer material. And it's actually a belt. A buckle. Some pouch. The space where you can actually uh, insert and remove the figure. And then it came with these two supposedly uh, spray paint and what's fun about this one is that you can make her hold them what's an accessory if you can't use them oops oops sorry now where to go okay here there you go there you go and then in the beginning as much as you can see as, as you saw you can store it in here just like that and as I mentioned it's uh, made out of a pliable softer material so you can actually put it in or remove it and put it back on if you'd like it actually sits uh, very low in her waist but or very high depending on your configuration it's your toy it depends on what you want you can do whatever you want I'm not your mom. And then you can store these in there. So yeah, cool, cool. And then, uh, as you can see here, she's wearing a mask. It's actually quite cool. And as mentioned, her nickname is Digital Artist. So it looks like an, uh, a smiley face, a digital smiley face. If you will be uh, touching it like this, you will feel that each uh, dots in the face are sculpted. They are not painted. And then, at first, just to share, at first I was like, oh, cool. She got that mask. The figure looks cool, but she got that mask. So, oh darn. I can't get her. To, you know display alongside uh, our very lovely oh, my baby my baby Ev okay my baby Eve so yeah one second one second okay there we go there we go oh uh, yep just preparing my baby girl there so we can do a size comparison so this is how they would look together this is how they will look together oh well one second 
Because it's already there, it's already out, so why not just use it, right? And here's, here's the rationale why I bought uh, Grace here, uh, the digital artist. Okay, so I got Technique first, right? I got Technique. I, I got Eve first, right? So, what happened is that I was browsing, I was window shopping, and I saw um, Technique and uh, Digital Artists at the same time, Grace and Eve. Uh, if you know where I got these names, please don't tell. Thank you. So there. So as you can see, <laughs> uh, Grace uses a spray paint while Eve is using a um, paint roller. So there you go. What did they do? They're street artists. There we go, there we go. So that's how she stacks up with Eve or Technique. So, you know, uh, good size, good height. And then let's just put uh, Spidey here. There we go. So that's how they stack up together. Anyway, we're not yet done with the mask. I'll go back there. So, yeah, good height, good height. So, about the mask. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, Grace. So, about the mask. What about the mask, Vin? Okay, aside from the belt, the mask is actually removable. See? And this is how she looks under the mask. At first, as I was about to say, I thought she doesn't have any face in, uh, behind the mask, but... She does, she does, and it's quite good. And she's winking, like, oh, winky winky kitty kitty. Let's just have a head comparison. Her face is a little bit chubbier, much rounder compared to um, Technique here, to Eve, much paler. Actually, to be straightforward, just a little uh, um, trivia, Technique here, her original skin, or the original body for the character because in Fortnite, you know, I did a little research. In Fortnite, you can choose what body type that you are going to use. Technique here um, is from the Ramirez uh, body. Like Jonesy, Ramirez is another uh, body or initial body, initial agent that you can actually uh, customize later. So she is Hispanic. So her skin color, compared to our friend here, Grace, is actually uh, much, much like uh, Española, like mine, look. Yeah, oh, oh my goodness, okay. So, there we go, there we go. Come on, baby, stand. And then, yeah, overall she looks good. Uh, the digital artist. Grace looks good, but uh, yeah, I'd rather put the mask on. Nobody care until I put the mask on. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the review. <laughs> the stupid Bane impersonation. Okay, <laughs> so uh, Grace here, her limit articulation is very limited. This is not an action figure that is meant for their possibility. Roblox is a kid's game. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I really think um, it's like Ma Minecraft, that it's for kids. But the articulation here is that uh, she have a uh, next swivel. And then it will go up and go down. So up and down and up and down then side side up and down up and down. so there there we go so that's that's quite good the arms will go out this much this far which is very good it will turn around 360 degrees single jointed elbow okay just give me a sec guys okay 
single jointed elbow that are a bit better than techniques. Wrist swivel, but there's no bend there. So that's actually, you guys, to be straightforward, the upper portion of this figure is very good. And then hip swivel or waist swivel, sorry, waist swivel. So as I mentioned, as the upper portion, head, neck, uh, elbow, arms, wrist, waist, it's good. It's very good. But when it comes to the legs, I'm, I've tried this many times, but no, it wouldn't kick outside like, uh, say, Spider-Man did, like that. Okay, it will kick forward this much. Back, not so much because of the sculpt. Oh, ooh, very generous and generous. She's hella thick. Ah, she doesn't have boobs though. <laughs> single jointed knees that will go that far and then a swivel but no back and forth overall as mentioned this is a kid's toy i took her or i bought her because i wanted to actually give eve a friend their concepts are actually quite uh quite good you know um street artists Unite. So that's that's it. Why I bought um, Grace, the digital artist. There. Overall, as mentioned, this is a re really great figure. Will I get more Roblox figure? Mm, maybe if they uh, release another humanoid uh, humanoid figure like this. Cause uh, what what they have there? Actually, I'm interested with a robot. Uh, I'll find that sometime next time when I got the money and after the whole shenanigan with uh, Rona. So I'll get the robot. But for the meantime, that's it. That's it. I really do appreciate you hanging out with me today. If you like what you saw and you want more, just let me know. And also... Um, Please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate your support. Please do visit The of uh, Urban in Facebook. And please sound out in the comments below. Please let me know what you want, what you enjoyed, what you want me to remove or change in the way I actually present the toys to you guys. What other figures are you interested in uh, reviewing? Just let me know what to do. And I'll do my best to actually uh, present to you these figures as they come along the way. And if money, time, and effort will actually give me the strength or the right, um, the right uh, time to actually get these. Uh, so, you know, we can review them. Once again, I do appreciate you. You and you form a circle and make it straight. I do appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope to hear from you guys. I really do appreciate if you are actually able to uh, to uh, talk to me in any way possible. This is Nibblin' again from the Urban. Thanks for your time. Bye!